My name is Miss Amy, and I am a Montessori teacher. And I love to partner with families who want to bring some of the practices of Montessori into their home. And today, I want to talk to you about snack. For me, when my children were young, snack was a big deal. And the younger they were, it seemed like snack kind of happened all throughout the day. I found myself constantly thinking of what to give them, preparing them a snack, cleaning up after their snack, only to turn around and do it all again. Well, one of the hallmarks of the Montessori method is to create opportunities for children to become independent with what we call practical life skills. And so today I want to show you a way that you can bring some independence into your home for your children regarding snack. And it all starts with a table. So when we think about children being independent, we always want to think about providing materials and tools that are the right size for them. This table is a great size for a young child, two to five years old. Now the first thing we're going to add to our table is a water pitcher. I love this water pitcher for a couple of reasons. First, it's just a really nice size for little hands. And secondly, it's very lightweight. When choosing things for your child, you have to think about, is this going to be heavy for them to lift? And then imagine that it's got some water in it and that adds to the weight. So this is nice and lightweight and it's not breakable. So I would add this to the table first. I would fill it about halfway or even a little less to begin with. I always like to put a small plate underneath the water pitcher, and that kind of gives a visual for your child where to replace this to, and it also collects any of the drips that might fall. I would start with just a little bit of water in a pitcher, a small plate, and then a small cup that's easy for your child to manage. I get these at Goodwill all the time. And I buy them by the truckload because when children are learning, sometimes they get dropped and sometimes they get broken. And guess what? That's okay. If you would prefer to use a plastic cup, by all means, you do that. In a Montessori environment, we do prefer to give children real items and items that are breakable because the best way for them to learn that things can break is when that accident happens, and often it only happens once, and then they on their own choose to be so careful. Now, one tip is to take a marker and just make a mark where you think an appropriate amount of water should be poured to. This is just another way to give your child a visual, to fill it only up to the line. When you're showing your child how to Always teach them to use two hands. One hand on the handle and one hand on the body of the picture. And I always teach them to make sure you listen for the sound of the spout touching the rim. This might be enough for your child for the first few days. This level of independence will likely be really exciting and fun for your child. And once this is mastered, then maybe it's time to add a snack. So I would recommend getting a small bowl and filling it with as much of whatever item you would like your child to have that day that you are comfortable with them eating for that day. I always told my children, this is what you can have for today and when it's all gone, it's all gone. If you choose to eat it all in one sitting, that's okay, but I'm not going to put any more in. So maybe think about having just a little bit at a time. I've just placed some Cheerios in here, but you can put whatever you would like. Maybe you'd like to cut up some strawberries or cut up a cheese stick or some crackers, anything that your child likes that you feel is good for them and safe for them to eat independently. So I would place that source on the table, but rather than eating directly from there, I would recommend giving your child small dish and a utensil to serve themselves so that they can place a little bit in the bowl 
and eat that lunch. And then all throughout the day, you can tell them when your body feels like it needs a snack, you can come to your snack table and you can serve yourself a snack. You can pour yourself a drink. At the end of the day, the dishes are collected and washed. And then the next morning, you replace with whatever you choose for that day. Maybe have your child help you make some of the choices. And here's an extra little tip. This might be a great way for you to introduce some things that your child has not enjoyed in the past. Maybe some of those green vegetables that kids tend to turn their noses up at. I have found in my experience that often when we give children the freedom to choose and the freedom to independently work on the food that they're going to eat, they just take ownership of it and they just tend to be more open-minded about trying it. So, hey, what if you threw some broccoli in the bowl one of these days? Maybe they would choose to eat it because they took ownership and felt like it was their snack that they were choosing to eat. I would set the parameter that this snack table goes in the kitchen where we eat. And so we're not going to take snack all around the house, but anytime you choose, you can come to your table and choose a snack for yourself, prepare it, pour your own water, and when you're finished, you can move on. The only other thing I would add to this would be a chair that's the right size for your child. And so I have this little chair, I'm just gonna tuck right in here. And I just want to encourage you to create a snack table for your child and give them some independence and some power and some ownership over their snacking throughout the day. And who knows, maybe that'll free up some time for you to sit back and read a book. So I hope this tip helps. I hope you have a great day and thank you for watching.